All right, so I didn't save my work, so I'm just gonna try to do it without that. Um, so, so I'm here to talk about some debugging stuff. Um, my name is Stefan, I work at Facebook, and we're trying to, um, we're trying to improve people's lives a little bit um, in the company by unifying our debugging tools, or all our tools in general, around like one single thing, which here would be LLDB for debugging. So as you probably know, LLDB works pretty well for uh, everything Apple. It's been do it's done like a huge progress for Linux-based platforms, including Android and things like that recently. And <clears throat> one project I work on is a small debug server that's used with LLDB for uh, debugging remote platforms. So for those of you who, who are not familiar with this, um, when you debug um, a, an application on something like an iPhone, for example, you don't load your whole debugger on the phone, obviously, so you have a small debug server running on the device, and you connect to it with your debugger, and you debug remotely like that. And that applies for uh, things like iOS, obviously, Android, um, and any other like embedded platform could apply as well. So um, why did we do that? Uh, first, uh, first reason was because when we started that, the only debug server that was present in the LDB source tree was the Apple thing, which was really, really not that easy to port to other platforms. And LGS, which is called now LDB server, didn't exist. So we said, all right, we're gonna do something new. And we started doing that. And then we realized that some amazing people at Google were working on something a bit different. So we said, hey, we've got this thing. And we open sourced it so that uh, people could use it if they needed to. So that's the reason why we started doing it. Um, how did we do it? Um, we decided to be standalone, um, not um, depend on anything else because we wanted to make it easy to deploy that. And um, so we have like a fairly tiny um, executable at the end of the day. It's basically like a few hundred kilobytes and uh, 20,000 lines of C++ and um, and we have, like, when we do, like, static binaries, for example, for Android, it's under a meg, like, including the libc++ and everything. And um, what platforms do we support for this? Um, we do not support our Apple platforms because debug server works well for our needs. Um, first thing we did was Linux. Um, that applies for x86, x86-64, ARM, uh, ARM64 as well, but that one's not really tested a lot. Um, that's the things we use for debugging on Android. Then recently, there's some people um, who did the FreeBSD port. Um, their names are Jacob Klama and, and uh, Ed Maste. So um, that's pretty new. Uh, we have FreeBSD, although only for x86 and x86-64. And um, we are also working on Windows support. So that's like super experimental. Even the LDB part is brand new right now. So um, that's one more platform we have. And I believe that it might be used by people who have like some special needs for like when debugging on remote platforms. Um, and my slides are gone. This is this really sucks. So yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I'm sorry. So yeah, I just wanted to like introduce the project and and tell you, hey, like it might be useful for you. It doesn't. Um, it's not super visible in the state it is right now, but. Uh, it is available on our GitHub, um, so github.com slash Facebook slash DS2. And license-wise, it uses the exact same license as the rest of the LVM, uh, Clang, and whatever project, um, which apparently is, might change soon, but for now, it's the, it's the, it's the standard like LVM license. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, and thank you.